Hello, you're watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Katerina Stichina. At the end of this week, traders will focus on the following macroeconomic statistics. On Thursday, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand will announce its interest rate decision for May. The rate is expected to remain unchanged at 1.75% at its last policy meeting. The Central Bank of New Zealand decided to maintain the interest rate at the record low of 1.75%. This outcome came in line with the analyst expectations. The bank's officials uh, intend to proceed uh, with the current monetary policy in the longer term, providing that the inflation remains near the targeted level. RBNZ Governor Graham Wheeler said that the longer-term outlook for inflation is still 2% and the bank will continue to pursue the accommodative monetary policy. On the same day, the Bank of England will also unveil its plans for the monetary policy. Experts anticipate that the bank will leave the official rate unchanged at 0.25%. At its latest policy meeting, the Central Bank of the United Kingdom decided to keep the rate at 2.25%. Meanwhile, one of the nine members of the Monetary Policy Committee, Christine Forbes, voted for a rate hike as she was concerned over the inflation rate. Moreover, the Bank of England presented an economic outlook, according to which the economy is expected to expand by 2% this year. However, the growth is likely to slow down on the back of uncertainty over the UK's exit from the European Union. On Friday, the United States will publish the inflation report for April. Experts forecast that the consumer prices grew by 2.3% in annual terms and by 0.2% on a monthly basis. In March, prices dropped by 0.3% after rising by 0.1% in the previous months. It was the first decline since February 2016. In annual terms, prices were up by 2.4%. Analysts expected the inflation rate to remain flat from the previous months and accelerated to 2.6% in annual terms. The core consumer prices, excluding the cost of energy and food, decreased by 0.1% for the first time since January 2010. On a yearly basis, the core inflation rose by 2%, which was at the lowest pace since November 2015. Apart from these events, traders will observe the comments by RBNZ Governor Graham Wheeler and head of the Bank of England McCartney on Thursday. On the same day, Switzerland will publish the inflation data, the United Kingdom will deliver their report on industrial production, and the United States will unveil the initial jobless claims and producer price index. On Friday, the heads of central banks and finance ministers of the G7 countries will meet in Italy. In the United States, we'll release the reports uh, on retail sales and consumer sentiment. You were watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel. Have a profitable deals and good luck.